Hello, I'm Keith Ford and welcome to a special edition of From the Vault. Today we're at the Rock Island Auction Company and today I have two exceptional pieces right here. I have a Browning BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle, and then a Colt Monitor. So let's dive into these guns right here. At the end of World War I, uh, the U.S. forces were looking for a machine gun to use in the trenches, something that would had some punch, carried a 30 6 and John Moses Browning come up with the 1918 BAR. Trouble is, it just came in too late at the end of the war, but this gun would actually be used in the Second World War in Korea and on into Vietnam, and will be replaced by the M60. In the interim time, of uh, pre-1934, uh, GCA 1934, Gun Control Act, you could actually buy these guns, and they were used a lot by several gangsters. Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow actually had three of these. Bur Clyde Barrow took his and cut it off about right here, right at the beginning of the stock bolt and chopped it down. Bonnie and Clyde used these very, very effectively in a lot of escapes and robberies and stuff. And actually Bonnie Parker was about 90 pounds and a very small lady. And in a uh, shootout in Joplin, Missouri, she actually had one of these and Clyde Barrow had one as well. They were in an apartment and the police were outside in behind a tree and they were getting ready to bust out of there and Bonnie turned, looked at Clyde and said, turn it on them, Clyde. And out the door they went and Bonnie Parker started blasting at the tree and didn't hit anybody, but it kept them under fire and under cover so they could get away. And just imagine a woman that size packing something this big. Colt was looking to dive into the law enforcement market and they come out with Colt Monitor, which is basically a BAR with a shortened stock, a shortened barrel, and a cuts compensator right here, and a pistol grip and an enhanced forend right here. Had the same rate of fire as the BAR, but it was a little handier. You could swing it around in a car and most of the FBI and other police were using Thompson submachine guns and they just wouldn't penetrate some of the cars. But a Colt Monitor and 30 6 would go right through it. And these were actually used to subdue Bonnie and Clyde. And you can see the pictures of the car whenever they were shot up. That a lot of those holes were from a Colt Monitor. These were used very effectively. You don't see a lot of these right here. This is one of the very few examples in existence around that's transferable. And this gun right here is about $120,000, maybe even more. And that's about it for these two wonderful pieces right here. And we'd like to give a special thanks to Rock Island Auction for letting us come out and go through all of their fine firearms right here that's fixing to come up on their auction. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time whenever we bring another gun from the vault.